And um, I am uh, unbelievably uh, frustrated and saddened by the lying in the hearts of men. The candidate for being appointed to the Supreme Court was asked, what is a woman? And she couldn't answer. She couldn't answer that question, what is a woman? Of course, in the context of identity politics, you know, you can't answer that question. What is a woman? What is a woman? Unbelievable. The West is uh, uh, in a lot of trouble. And these people are making decisions for us. They're making decisions for us and our families. Unbelievable. In a word, they are lying. They are liars. Romans chapter 3. We are all liars. Well, this is the point of history, isn't it? This is the point of of uh, where we are at. Professing to be f wise, we are fools. Don't you see you are lying? Don't you see that you are a liar? Well, this is uh, exactly what the Bible is saying, isn't it? God forbid ye let God be true in every man a liar, as it is written, Romans 3, 4 that you might be justified in the sayings. I mean, fearing God. Fearing God. Where is the fear of God? Fearing God. Well, I've got to shift to have a better... I'm going to share a word in a minute. My Jesus, I love thee. I know thou art mine. For thee all the follies of sin, I resign. All the follies of sin, I resign. My gracious Redeemer, my Savior art thou. If ever I love thee, my Jesus, tis now. I love thee because thou hast first loved me and purchased my pardon on Calvary's tree. I love thee for wearing the thorns on thy brow. Hold it. Jesus, I love you. You are true. You are not a liar. You wore the thorns on your brow. The Western world put those thorns on your brow. My country, my, my uh, neighbors, me, I put those thorns on your brow because I am a liar. I have no courage. But you are not. You do not lie. You are a man of courage and truth. You love the truth. And we killed you because we are liars. We are liars. Lord Jesus, we need the fear of God in our hearts to respect you. Yes, Lord. The follies of sin, I resign. I love thee for wearing the thorns on thy brow. Ever I love thee, my Jesus, tis now. Last verse. In mansions of glory and endless delight, I'll ever adore thee in heaven so bright. I'll sing with a glittering crown on my brow. If ever I love thee, my Jesus, tis now. Wait a minute. I'll sing with the glittering crown on my brow. You had the crown of thorns on your brow. I will sing with the glittering crown on my brow. You. You gave me your glory. 
you gave it to me. You honored me. You crowned me with glory and honor. You have honored me. Thank you, Jesus, by your grace. Thank you, God. And lastly, Second uh, Chronicles fifteen sixteen, and Asa's grandmother Maka had made a disgusting idol of the goddess goddess Asherah, so he cut it down, crushed it, burned it in Kidron Valley. His Asa was the king of Judah, a king of Judah. His grandmother made an idol. It was um, he took the idol, he crushed it, cut it down, and burned it in Kidron Valley. Then he removed Maka, his grandmother, from her position as queen mother. He took her out. As long as Asa lived, he was faithful to the Lord, even though he did not destroy the local shrines in Israel. He placed in the temple all the silver and gold objects that he and his father had dedicated in God. There was peace in Judah until the 35th year of Asa's rule. Uh, uh, I just want to say uh, clearly, my relatives, what they think, what they believe, my, my friends, uh, people close to me, people that I respect, you cannot be sentimental. Your grandmother made an idol. It cannot be there. It cannot be there. She has to be. It, it's done, and she's also removed from her position. Okay, what does this mean? Um, just the lie, the law of Moses is to be obeyed and followed in the fear of God. This happens through our new birth. We are regenerated, and we love righteousness. We love truth. And there isn't politics, there is truth. There, There is not sentimentality, there is truth. And that's how we must live. We are kind people, we are loving people, but we also are truthful people. We can have dialogue, we can have discussion, we can argue our case, we can declare and live our way. So that's what I want to say today. Second Chronicles 15 in verse 16. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> My Jesus, I love thee. What the hell? How's it going? <clears throat> I know thou art mine. For thee, all the follies of sin, I resign. My gracious Redeemer, my Savior art thou. Ever I love thee, my Jesus, tis now. I love thee because thou first loved me, and purchased my pardon on Calvary's tree. I love thee for weary. The thorns on thy brow, if ever I love thee, my Jesus, tis now. Lord, lead us not into temptation. Lord, lead us in our hearts, in our ministry today. We pray for our countries, the activity, the work of evil in the world. May you fill us with your spirit. May you open our mouths to make known the mysteries of Christ. Help us, lead us to minister to those that are disadvantaged and hurting. May we reach out to our sisters and brothers today with love and to the unbeliever. Yes, Lord, in Christ's name, amen.